Yeah, one man's food is another man's poison. So we should, we should consider, you know, whether Krishna feels like he's eating poison. <laughs> The in one of the photos I've seen, I don't remember exactly which temple, but whatever one of his phone has There's a few photos in that book that are maybe not known today. Shri Prabhupada once said in LA when Maharaj was describing how she's dressing the deity, she probably said, No, Krishna is dressing himself. He's using you as the instrument. As yeah. the instrument. Yeah. So then that answers Santa Claus or not. Well, <laughs> are we to conclude then that Krishna used her as an instrument to dress him up as Santa Claus? <laughs> anyway, but, you know. So anyway, that's why there's a there's a deity worship ministry in this con at least, so that some kind of standards can be maintained. Otherwise, it can it can get really uh, bizarre sometimes. It does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. In the he said that um, <clears throat> the deity can be dressed in a local style. So I don't like that one. Like local it. style? It says in the Vajrata Like you see Manipur. Yeah, Manipur. The local Vaishnava style, not local Western Yeah, style. I mean, <laughs> local style means we're putting blue jeans, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Like just like you see in different parts of India, for instance, like in Bengal, they wear their sari one way. In South India, they wear a sari a different way. And so you see, there's different Vaishnava styles, but not different Western styles. The point is that the West really doesn't have anything to offer. Which is much. <laughs> 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 I've seen a picture in South America where Radha Krishna has these dresses, uh, local dresses with different colors, and these hats. Oh yeah, in Peru. Peru, Peru. Yeah, <laughs> But this is speculation of Param Paramatma. Sure. Anyway, the yeah. biggest thing is going on. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we should personally, to be honest with you, it's just like it's just like um, it may be as hot in the summer and you want to wear shorts. You know, the men may want to wear shorts. So, so therefore, we want to offer Christmas shorts first. But um, but actually, when I when I look at him with a dhoti and nice chutter and nice crown, it reminds me of Krishna in the spiritual world, doesn't it? We want to, we, when we when we see the deity, we want to be reminded of where we want to go, not where we came from. So much. It's good to remember where you came from, so that you can, you know, maybe we, maybe. Uh, evaluate your progress. But but it's not that we want to be again and again, you know, uh, forced uh, to to experience impure reminiscence of our previous life of, of material conditioning. So, you know, maybe the best thing isn't to offer the deities vegetarian shishkabals. You know, the best that maybe the best thing isn't to offer the deities veggie burgers or or, or, or vegetarian chicken breasts <laughs> or various other, you know, near beer. <laughs> you know, or de alkalized wine or whatever. These things, you know, maybe they're vegetarian, but it isn't what Krishna likes. So it, the, the idea is that we want we want to do as do as close close as possible to what we can understand is pleasing to Krishna. The whole effort is to please Krishna. Not, the deity is not for our sense gratification. Now someone can argue that, well, if you dress him in this way or that, then the devotees will become inspired. <laughs> because, oh, how nice, Santa Claus! <laughs> <laughs> My old days when I was a kid, remember the Christmas tree? <laughs> Christmas play, you know, in this way. But, you know, in all due respect, I, know, I, could, I was so happy. You don't know how happy I was. I used to dress up as a Santa Claus on, on you know, Santa Claus Sankirtan in America. 
you know, and during the Christmas season, you know, for the Prabhupada Marathon. Now we call it the Prabhupada, we used to call it the Christmas Marathon. You know, ho, ho, ho. And, and I was so happy when I came to Vrindavan, that I wasn't even, you didn't even hear about Christmas. At least in 1986, when I, when I uh, came here to stay, it was, it was great. There was no ho ho ho. There was no Santa Claus. There was no reindeer. You know, there was, you know, like, great, fantastic, you know. I had this, in my room, I have, have this fireplace, you know, a wooden fireplace. You know, and I, and, I, and I make sure that I keep it going, especially on Christmas Eve. You know, so if Santa Claus comes, to, Santa Claus comes down by shipping, you know, burn his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why would I want to dress Krishna like Santa Claus? You know, I, I, I'm so sick of Santa Claus. <laughs> anyway, so, I, you know, I don't want to criticize anybody, but these things are going on, and, and perhaps, you know, certain uh, elements of Krishna consciousness in terms of, of the progress of our, progress of our consciousness to a higher taste should be taken into consideration. I spoke to the devotees concerned about that and then we just stopped doing it. Okay, very good. They accepted there wasn't really anything else. Yeah, okay, thank you. There are any methods from the Shastra, how to get to do this? There is, we've, we've discussed this to some extent yesterday, about how, just like, and I, and I mentioned today, like in, in certain places, it describes various ornaments that Srimati Radharani wears. So if you can come as close as possible, thinking of how, how she is described to be decorated in various ways in uh, scripture. But you'll find in some scriptures she's wearing a red dress, in some scriptures she's wearing a blue dress, you know. So there's room for variety, after all, variety is the mother of your journey. And, 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 we, and we don't see, like we, we always hear about how Krishna is wearing Pitan Barvesh, you know, but but uh, most of our outfits are not Krishna wearing people more age. You know, so then we just we adjust. It's mentioned also, though, uh, that in different kunjas, like around Radha Kund, the different sakis will have different kunjas, and these different kunjas, everything in in, in one kunja, everything will be golden color, and then when Radharani, Radharani and Krishna, Radharani will wear golden dress. You know, and, and, and Krishna will be sitting on the throne with Radharani, but if Chachila comes, you know, she'll only see Radharani, I mean, see, see Krishna, and she won't see Radharani, because Radharani will be camouflaged, you know, by the golden atmosphere. And in another kunj, everything is blue. You know, so then, so then uh, uh, you, they'll, they'll, they'll see only Radharani there, if any intruder comes, and, and they won't see Krishna. And then in some kundas everything is red. There's red, you know, ruby uh, uh, pathways and you know, red trees and red birds and everything is red. So there is there is an idea even in the scriptures about different kundas or different atmospheres that are generated for for the pleasure of Radharani, so or for the pleasure of Krishna ultimately. So in in this way uh, we can we can think of like. The backdrop that we put in, and and, and, and the dresses, this, this will, will uh, require the expertise of the person who's designing the dresses. And there, there's different, like, kunjas being created for different leelas. Well, sometimes, uh, the way that we dress Krishna and Vidal and Krishna and Sakya Rasa is different, even when we paint it from the Madhurya Rasa and the Vidya Rasa. Yeah, that, 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 that is... Uh, at a certain point, will become an important consideration. What type of mood you want to convey? One thing for sure is that uh, is that even though Krishna is with Balaram, no, no, Krishna and Balaram. If Krishna is with Balaram, it's not that he is not the lover of Radharani. But but he may be, you know, in a mood of playfulness with his coward boys. But he's going to sneak away as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah. You know, to go to Radha Yeah. So
So we want to finish this. So today I finished dressing. Yeah. All right, so we were on the, on the veil before we got distracted by all the... <coughs> so did we get a, a line? We, we needed another line from somewhere around here. Did you put a line in here? Yeah, we'll use this line. What's the time now, what? Four o'clock. Twenty five six. Okay, same Four o'clock, same Okay. Yeah, I think we have to let him know. It should be a that Radharani is taking a prominent position. Sometimes you can, take, you can put it behind, either by strings or even, even attaching it to, to his dhoti or something. And sometimes, sometimes, depending, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. It's just like if Radharani is dancing, then like his, his is moving like this, so then she can also, even you can bring it out in front like that. So that's going around this way. 
but then then you would want this to go that way also. See? But, but otherwise, you can bring this up and, and pin it. You don't want things to flop, you know. Flopping is not so good. But then another way that, that, that I like to do it sometimes is to bring it around this side and pin, and pin it and make another one of these up here. But usually what that does is it, is it pulls this around so then if it's long enough, you can pin this in place here before you put any other flowers on. In this hand? Up hand. In up hand? Yeah, he took his chatter over, over, put it over his head and put it in his hand like Which, this. what, like this? I assume so. I Sometimes I, I used, just for fun, I would put Sean's chatter, yeah. like Latter Rays, you know, <laughs> controlling. <laughs> enough time. Not that she'd like Kupja. Kupja, you know, usually it's Krishna snatching the gopis' claws. But but here it's, it's uh, I mean, if Latter Holding, it's not. It's not because she's snatching him like Kuja was snatching. Him. You know, but she's she's snatching him to make sure that he doesn't leave again. Is this size is smaller. 
you know that nylon, clear nylon thread they get for sewing clothes? <coughs> it's like a thread you use for sewing clothes, it's clear nylon. It's thin. It's very, very thin, you can use that, you actually cannot see it from the dark shadow. Even if you're like 10 foot away, you can't see it. So that's also a very nice but It's a clear, it's a clear nylon thread, which is used for sewing clothes. It's quite good. They can use it in a sewing machine. It's, 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 um, like this is a little heavy. So the thinner, the better. It'll be strong enough. It'll be strong enough. Yeah, for, for big deities, like for Madhavi, you couldn't use it because it's not strong enough. For deities this size, not a problem. So you see how this kind of gives her life, you know? But you can't really get it so good with this kind of cloth. You mean the, the regular dress? Sometimes. Not, not, you're not talking about the, the wool shutter that they have during the winter? No, no. It's the Well, sometimes they're you, what, what you're seeing or maybe thinking as another shutter is actually just the dancing skirt. Some, some of the outfits have big and small shutters. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah, some of the outfits are. Yeah, yeah, so that if it's two shutters, it might. Like sometimes see fish come out and they go like in all these like you want it, you want to put it, you want to put two shutters on? I would like to know how you do it, like very thin. Oh, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I don't know what the Christian Ballroom Pajore is, but sometimes I don't have so much faith in what the Christian Ballroom Pajore are doing. Because they can do things like putting long shells on. Another question I have is like sometimes babies are choked. The boat, the babies <coughs> Maybe that they don't want to worship Krishna in so much opulence. Yeah. They would like to have a similar dressing so that they can relate better with Krishna. That's another That's personal. Yeah. In the personal worship, those things can be adjusted, but in the temple worship, Prabhupada wanted it to be as opulent as possible so that it makes a powerful impact. We have time for like maybe one quick turban. Uh, and maybe let's see. Is there a chandrika? I I introduced the chandrikas in in the Vrindavan temple. Oh, here's a chandrika. So just just one one point. I know you have lots of questions, yeah. but if we keep asking questions, then you won't get the chance to see how you put a turban on. So it's your choice. You can ask questions or get the same put a turban. Mm -hmm. Actually, what I would prefer okay, is I would prefer that Korma comes and does the first turn. Okay. So we'll just what we'll do is we'll just this also should be following your nose. Like what I've done is yes, what I've done is I I pinned it through the veil two times through the veil and, and into the back. Some. Sometimes the, um, the chandrikas are made with a little metal thing that comes down and then you, then you can just put one pin over top of that. But I found that this is more versatile. If it has the, the metal thing, sometimes the metal, the metal thing that it comes along flowers this way. And then not when they make it a little heavier, so it looks kind of like a, what is it called? Um, Down here, the kundi is the beginning. The beginning of the dangly um, part of the kundi should be about on the level of the eye. Shouldn't be lower or higher. Right, right here on this level, and then dangly should come on the other side. And you can even swing the kundi one way or the other. Sometimes I swing, swing over here. You'll see in the pictures that that, that I uh, show. Usually you're not going to see it, you know. So I, things which which um, she would be in reality, she has it. But uh, usually <coughs> I don't feel it. Just another thing to take time. Okay. So 
if I just may make a comment in the I just want to make one comment just for all those devotees here who after this seminar will go back to the temples in the West. Now as you can see, Ayanda's got a very lovely style of dressing. This is Ayanda's style of dressing, so we don't want you to go back to your temples in the West and say, no, this is the way I saw the seminar, therefore we have to do it and challenge the local temple authorities. We need to be flexible, the Pajara should be flexible enough to fit in wherever they are. Even though they may think this is wrong the way they're doing it, we don't want you to create a disturbance. And you need to... And then blame the MA. Yeah, blame the ministry or blame my or something like that. You need to, you know, I mean, I just got a wonderful style of dressing. You see in Rindana, you know, so many beautiful flowers and, you know, flowing lines and stuff like that. But yeah, keep in mind, your temple authorities, your local authorities may not appreciate it. And so our idea is not to create disturbances. So then, it, then the way you have to, to um, um, subvert in yeah. Like yeah. 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 yeah, like an yeah. alarm, you, you do a little bit, and then you do a little bit more, <laughs> and you add, and, and, and when they get used to that, then you can do a little more. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't create, what we're saying is don't create disruptions. <laughs> don't make waves. That's another thing. You usually have a string coming down from the top. There's a string coming. The string is coming not from the back side, but usually from the top. Closer to, not in the middle of her head, but just behind her head. And, and the effulgence is an important point of discussion if you're going to use effulgence, which most temples do, is that you have to look from down here. From the darshan. You have to look from the darshan, from the position of the, the devotees would be seen, and the, and the middle of the effulgence should be in the middle, like between her eyes. You, have, you, you, look, you don't want the effulgence to be up too high, and you don't want it to be too low. So you have to pull it up and, and get used to you know, what it looks like. From First you look at it when it's right here, then you, then you come up here and see what it looks like there. Then you get the idea of how much space actually is required for it to be right, and then you can get it right every time. And the same thing with Sean. And usually, to just uh, just for fun, to make it a more festive mood, I like to put flowers in my clothes too. Not everybody does that. Yeah, yeah. We'll 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 do flowers tomorrow. Okay, so the wind up. There. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so tr please try to come on time or not. I'm sorry I wasn't on time. I was on time. No, but I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'll, I'll make sure that we get a video on time tomorrow. And let's get Cormor Chaitanya here. Well, I was expecting to be here. Like, well, he said he was coming. Mm -hmm. This has to be covered with a flower. Mm -hmm. You know that we need to be <laughs> but um, basically, all I do is I do on many deities, it's hard to get
you know. I don't know why they didn't announce she were Rutri. But, but yes, it was she were Rutri. Then we start to discuss again. Usually the changes from in Renamen. The, the winter schedule um, starts on uh, and the summer schedule starts on she were Rutri. So, so here is not, they're not doing what she were Rutri. Starting the summer schedule is still in the winter schedule. Yeah, but then, for, for us, for what we do in Vietnam is, is that uh, when we do it, because we like to see it out of this way, we can see a beautiful neighbor. So we go as long as possible. It's not that when the peacock can stop necessarily. Only when it starts to get a little cooler, then we put on shirts. And when it starts to get like during the shishir season, that's, that's the actual uh, part of the day. But in different parts of the world, it's going to be different. So you have to adjust according to the, the actual climatic conditions. Both ways, there's different ways. This is what I want to say. I want to say, I want to I want to say, I want to say, I want to I want to I This shifted over to this side, or it's coming like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's different ways to do it. Or you can have coming like you know, that. I just did that to show what, what was within the realm of possibilities. I know what is the technique of it. Well, you don't want to do that. Sometimes, but, but when you have this, you have the change. There is a in front of the like 15 like, there's like three mangoes, you know, in succession. That's, that's for some when we get to the room, I'll have to think of two of us.